Do these current modern style JRPGs look impressive? Today we'll go into which ones that I am excited about and which ones that have been personally catching my eye. Now this is a follow up video to my original video that I made asking you guys if we are in a JRPG renaissance right now. However, in that video, I focused primarily on the 2.5D and 2D style of JRPGs. Now today, we'll take a look at the modern style JRPGs and what's on the horizon. Now keep in mind this won't be a full comprehensive list, these are just the JRPGs that have been catching my eye that are in the modern style. So without further ado, let's jump right on into the video. Now my number one will be Yeast Nordics. Man, I hope I said that right. Now, I've never really played a lot of these games, but this one in particular is really starting to catch my eye with its amazing looking graphics. And one thing I can always say about the Yeast series so far, they have always had some absolutely phenomenal battle systems. I love the battle system in this game. I love how free flowing and how free uh, effortless it is. I'm absolutely loving the way that you get around the map and traversing the map. It looks like they're using a lot of new innovative features that feel like a modern JRPG. And this is what modern JRPGs need in my opinion. Sometimes we need nice platforming and nice ways to get across the world maps. So I am really liking this game so far and it's honestly like my sleeper expectation. It's my sleeper right now because I've never really been into this series. But I've watched my brother play a few and I'm really liking the way that this one is turning out so far. So keep your eyes open for Yeast Nordics. It looks impressive to me and this is the exact type of style that I'm also into. So I will definitely be keeping an eye out for this game right here. Next is the Persona 3 Remake. Once again, this is a franchise and series that I've never really been into. However, I've always respected and admired it. And this time, I might actually bite the bullet and jump into and try this remake here. Again, these games are known for their high quality. They're known for their nice modern-esque image and being urban and atlas is a phenomenal publisher and company so i know that this game is going to be nothing less than just quality and when you're taking a beloved game and you're remaking it you have to set the bar high and the expectations are high so i know persona fans are super excited about this game coming out so for me as a newbie and a complete noob to the entire persona franchise guys let me know if this is a good time to enter the series i have no idea i've never really played any of them will this be a great time to jump in please let me know down in the comment section below now this one is probably my most anticipated on my list so far grand blue relink i am just very impressed by this game especially because it snuck up on my radar and i know it has a release date relatively soon and i am just loving the way that this game is looking it's looking like exactly everything that i want in a modern style jrpg right now i'm just hoping that the battle system the characters and the story really really hold up for me because visually and aesthetically this game gives me that classic 2000s jrpg feeling and that is a feeling that i honestly have not held had in a long long time and if you guys probably couldn't tell by this point in the video i'm a more of a classic style jrpg player so late 90s to mid 2000s for me that's my era of jrpgs so when i see this game it just gives me all the good feelings in all the good ways this is by far my most anticipated jrpg in the modern style on this list and upcoming and again i played and dabbled in the versus game or the fighting game and it was okay however this is exactly where i want to see this game i want to see it in this space and i am just so extremely excited man it looks beautiful and amazing so this will probably be a day one for me and I am just excited to try out a new JRPG for the very first time. And once again, if you guys are enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. We cover all sort of JRPGs, news and contents, and discussion videos. And it's a great place to be for a community. So let's jump right on into the next one. And this may come as a surprise to many of my subscribers and my viewers as they know that I am also not the biggest Final Fantasy fan. However, I have to give credit where credit is due. Final Fantasy Rebirth looks absolutely amazing. And I, while I don't follow the lore verbatim, I want to jump in. The way that this game looks and the way that it's shaping up 
you cannot deny Square Enix of its excellence. This is Square Enix being peak Square Enix and being the peak innovators and pioneers that they are in the JRPG genre. This is what I want to see when I think of pushing and innovating the JRPG genre forward. This game looks absolutely amazing. Again, I am not the biggest Final Fantasy fan. I believe being a true JRPG fan is knowing when to give credit when credit is due. So Final Fantasy is definitely on my radar, if not day one, but still it is on my radar, most definitely. And that about wraps up the top JRPG in the modern style that I am looking forward to, guys. Be sure to let me know if you agree with any of these on this list and let me know which one of these lists that you are most excited for. Again, for me, I cannot wait for Grand Blue. That is my most anticipated modern style JRPG. And you guys, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. And I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless.